This is Key Problems of Physics and Astrophysics by V.L. Ginsberg. So this is an extremely rare book, and I want to show it to you in this video. It's a very small book. It's very thin. It's published by Mir Publishers Moscow, which was, I don't know if they still are, a publishing company uh, during the Soviet Union. And they would take Russian books and translate them to multiple languages, and they would be used all over the world. This one is in English, obviously, and we're going to take a look at it in this in this uh, in this video. Um, here it talks uh, a little bit about the book. It says Professor Vitaly Ginsberg, a prominent Soviet physicist, a full member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR is the author of numerous articles and books on plasma physics, superconductivity, ferroelectricity, cosmic rays, some problems of astrophysics, etc. This is what he says about the book. I came to the decision to write this book having in mind that there was so much interesting in various areas of physics and astrophysics, and yet many budding physicists and students were not aware of this and could hardly find out for themselves. So I decided to do something constructive in this way, to describe briefly some urgent problems of physics and astrophysics. Let's open it up. And here's the inside of the book, translated from the Russian by Oleg Glebov. So that was the translator, perhaps, that worked at Mir Publishers. First put or worked with them. 1976, second edition revised and enlarged, 78. And then here's, looks like the original one, the original Russian version was in 74. Here's the preface. Zoom in here so we can see a little bit better. Physics has immensely grown and diversified in the recent decades, which fact is being born out of by emergence of such new sciences as astrophysics, biophysics, geophysics, chemical physics, physics of crystals, physics of metals, etc. This differentiation, however, has not deprived physics, perhaps it would be more correct to say, has not yet deprived, of a certain unity. Here is meant the unity of the fundamentals, generality of many principles and methods, as well as the bonds between various branches and fields of research. Yeah, so let's, let's go deeper into this book. And here's the preface to the 78 edition. Let's, let's skip that. And here, here are the contents. This is interesting. So macrophysics, okay, then we have uh, microphysics, Let's turn the page here, and then we have astrophysics, and then we have some concluding remarks and addendum and references. Uh, by the way, I, I don't know how hard this book is to get. I'm assuming it's extremely hard to find this book if there's even any copies. There's probably only a few for sale on the entire internet. Um, it's pretty rare, but I will look and I will leave links in the description in case you want to pick up a copy. Um, these books, by the way, they're usually like, I don't know. I don't think I paid too much for this one, it was, but you know, it's, they are collectibles. So yeah. Yeah. Physics and astrophysics deal nowadays with an enormous number of various problems. The absolute majority of these problems are quite reasonable as the scientists attempt not to uncover the secrets of nature, then at least to gain some new knowledge of it. Cool. And then here we have one, which is macrophysics. Let's, let's just, just glance, through, glance through this so we can see the layout. It's pretty cool. High temperature superconductivity. matter in ultra high magnetic field what's this the characteristic energy difference between the hydrogen atom levels is the energy difference between the levels of a non-relativistic free electron and a magnetic field is this huh wow the mass spectrum sorry i just got to give this a whiff here just ah uh, yeah this is uh an interesting book. Uh, it's it's not whoa 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 not what um, you 
you know, most people read or look at. It's certainly, it, it has a lot, I feel like it has a lot of knowledge that perhaps m most people aren't aware of or, or, or are using right now. Um, I, a lot of these books, even like books on subjects like, like let's just take differential equations because I have, I have a, um, a book uh, by Mirror Publishers on differential equations. And it's a great book. And the way that things are presented in that book, um, it's just very different from other books. And I always think that sometimes I, I, I see things in those books that I haven't seen in other books. And uh, you wonder, like, is there forgotten knowledge in, in books like this, you know? Um, I don't know. Just kind of kind of an interesting uh, thought. Anyways, uh, interesting book. Uh, I'll end this video. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Um, also, if you want to learn math, uh, check out my courses, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Take care. Keep doing mathematics.